eyes I try to see but I'm blinded by the white light I'm lying here tonight and I can't stand the pain how could this happen to me I made my mistakes got no screaming I'm hanging by a thread I want to start this over again hey there again guys and welcome to a very special episode of Nick Kane's world I was in this area about a year ago in a very different situation that's right this was the site of my major car accident just going to go into the area now, have a bit of a look around, have a bit of a talk. Yep, this was the area, alright. I actually came all the way from up there. Took out the top of that tree in the middle of your picture. And I landed down here. It's very eerie. There's rubble still around the place from my old car. Well, here I am, guys, right where my car came to a screeching halt just over a year ago. As you can see, the tree is pretty messed up. Nearly as messed up as what I was. It's very eerie being here, seeing rubble as I'm walking around the area just from stuff that would have came out of the car and from paramedics moving stuff around. That day, I still have flashes of. I still see black images. It was more sounds than anything of coming down the highway that way. Remember hearing the rev of the engine just getting louder and louder. I remember there was a weird gripping feeling. And that was the tire uh, grabbing hold of the gutter as I was trying to avoid people. I, I did remember, it still sticks in my head, that I'm so thankful that I didn't injure anyone. I remember as the car was getting faster and faster, it was such a horrible feeling. I knew it was happening. I could hear everything, but I couldn't see nothing. As I hit that gutter up there, and went airborne, I knew something was wrong and I was counting my last moments, basically. I came to land down here. The visions that I remember coming in and out of consciousness, turning my head, every now and then listening to the voice, seeing the green jumpsuits of the AMBO officers, their professionalism, when they were just keeping calm as anything, just telling me they were going to get me out of here, I was going to be all right. It was an instant soothing feeling, and those guys don't get paid enough for what they do, for the stuff they have to see. One of the worst things though was was seeing the news reports later and seeing my family on there being stoic, being brave but inside I could tell it was tearing them up and I'm sorry mum and dad for that, I'm sorry this message is for you as well as everyone else out there on YouTube come on guys let's have a bit more of a look oh wow look over here, I think this is one of the tyres that had come off my car if you see some of the footage of the news report you see him towing the car onto the back of the tow truck. One of the tyres was dangling off. It was probably this one. Wow. Can't believe it's still here, actually. I came from all the way up there. You might not be able to tell, but it is a good 20 metres up. When they told me it was 20 metres up, I thought, oh, they're bullshitting me. But where I'm standing, I don't know if you guys can tell, it is a long way up there. I hit the top of that tree. I think there was another tree here that must have died or they got rid of it. 
I kept going and I landed down here. And I remember I landed down here because as we quickly go in and have a look, I remember my windscreen basically looking like this with cracks in the glass and just bunches of twigs and wood everywhere covering the window screen. It was a moment that I never really want to live again, that's for sure. I remember as the car was going faster and faster, what did I want to have happen to me? What did I want to have happen to my life? A big part of it was to do with my diabetes that day. But it was the depression, it was the lack of caring. It's, I didn't care. I cared for everyone else, I didn't want anyone else to get injured, but I didn't care for me. I did not care for me. It was that 10% of me, that slight sliver of me, that I am scared of. But that is what many of us have to deal out there with our depression, with the medications. If you miss one, the wild swings you go on. Some people don't understand. Some people say, oh, why don't you just end it? There's always someone out there for you guys to talk to, all right? Chuck me a message. Have a look at my Facebook page. Have a look at my writing Facebook page. Leave me a comment on here and we can go somewhere else and talk. Well, what can I say one year on? After the neck injury, after my shattered ankle socket, I'm still very thankful to be here and very thankful to bring you guys content on YouTube. Please keep watching the channel. I appreciate all the views. I appreciate all the support. Help me out by clicking those like and subscribe buttons and join me again soon. Thanks for joining me today for this very hard video to do. It feels strange, but really good all in these same emotions to be able to put this car at rest today. Today, I really think and I can I get rid of my little memento. Slipping off the edge, I'm hanging by No, a sorry, I apologize. I, I can't do this. Start this over again. And I can't.